I was very fortunate to Die Hard 3, which was I think going my third or fourth film, was with uh, John McTiernan and I think he as a director, a storyteller, changed the, the whole approach to action movies. Like, he, like his first Die Hard just made everybody lift and so I was fortunate enough to work with him twice. Um, and it made like, it was just a combination of like using the green screen technology and combining those with live action is I think uh, it's like, like John had, works in the, pretty much a single camera approach, which is unusual. Like most of these, these, most action films these days would be like 10 cameras, say, you know, on expendables, which we just did. You know, we'd have uh, four or five cameras every day, and second unit would have like 10. But John would do like a single camera approach, and I think uh, he. He's making everything feel real. I think was a, it was what his greatest achievement. Yeah. Um, but the, it's a combination of the visual effects, the practical effects. It's um, it's doing action movies is just fun. It's like just blowing stuff up. It's fun. <laughs>
So there's that part of it. That, so that's sometimes more complicated than the actual shooting. Is is the management side of all of all the people that we have, you know, all different personalities and different grips and electrics and the camera guys and special effects guys and it's like you know, it's, they're all different characters. So that's the like directors do it, we do it, you know, producers do it, we all, we, there is a huge management side to our job. Which I don't think when you're younger, when you're going to school, and you just don't really understand that part of it. Well, this is my first time here, I think it's just amazing and sad that I hadn't been here before, you know. But um, to walk the halls and to meet, you know, not like to meet all the people you admired after all these years, I don't think we all we all enjoy that. Um, when we go to say the ASC awards or the BSCs, or, they're they're one fantastic night. But it's usually you know you talk for a couple of minutes if you're looking up to one or two people, you have dinner and then you might go and have a drink afterwards and you go home. But this is like you know I see this person and I can say oh, I'll see you tomorrow and you catch up with them tomorrow and it's the what it's done for me is have allowed me to have long, in-depth conversations with people that I really wanted to meet and spend a lot of time with them.